Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this bag here. I put a picture at the beginning so you can see it better. You're going to need some type of a button. Um, this is probably an inch and a half across. It's actually a brooch that I stuck on and it's got a loop to go around it. But, you know, it's something I had, I found at an auction or something. So you can use, you can be creative, you can use a button or like I did, a brooch. And you can see that the loop, there's a loop on this that swoops around it and holds this flap shut. And then the handle I got off a bag that I found at somewhere, I don't know. Um, oh, the Goodwill store. And I think the bag just cost me a couple dollars. I think it was on sale. And I just took the handle off of it and I reused it, repurposed it. Now you can do that or you can buy, you can make your own handle, um, you know, crochet one long handle or two long ones or a short one, whatever you want to do. Um, or you, if you want to buy handles, you can buy them online too. Um, but let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I am using this regular Red Heart Super Saver, which is a medium worsted weight, 100% four ply acrylic. And the color I'm using is lemon. And there are 364 yards in this skein. And one skein will be plenty to do your bag. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, this bag is done in the Rocky Road stitch. And it's done in a multiple of four plus three in case you want to make your bag bigger or smaller than mine or you want to use the stitch for something else. Um, if you want to do it like me, I started with a chain of 43. And it's a really easy stitch. Once you get your chain of 43 done, you want to go ahead and single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Remember that we don't count this one. So the second one over and you want to single crochet in it like that. And now we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to do a chain of two, one, two, and we're going to work two double crochets into that same stitch. So there's one and two, just like that. Now we're going to skip two stitches. So skip, skip, and then we're going to single crochet into the next, like that. And then we're going to single crochet into the next, like that. And now again, we're going to chain two, one, two. And we're going to work two double crochets right back into that same stitch. There's oh, one and two. And now we're just going to kind of repeat that. We're going to skip two. So skip, skip, single crochet into the next one. Single crochet into the next one. And now we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to work two double crochets right back into that same stitch. One, two, now we're going to repeat it again, skip two again, skip, skip, and then single crochet into the next. So there's one, and then we single crochet again into the next, one in that one. And then we chain two, one, two, and now we work two double crochets into that same stitch. Just one and two. And we're just going to repeat this all the way down for the length of the chain. And that's what it kind of looks like. So again, we'll just skip the next two stitches. Skip, skip, single crochet into the next, and then single crochet into the next. And now we'll chain two, and then work two double crochets back into the same stitch. So I'm gonna repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the chain. Okay, I'm coming to the end of my row, and I have, I'm gonna skip my two stitches and single crochet into the next. And then I'll have one stitch left, and I just wanna single crochet into that one just like that and then you should have 10 of these little shelly things like that 
Now we're going to chain one and turn our work. And we're going to put one single crochet right back into that same stitch. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And now here is where we'll do our chain two, one, two, and two double crochets right back into that same stitch. Just like that. And now we're going to skip all these stitches here and the chain. And we're going to jump over to the first, this first single crochet over here and we're going to single crochet in it. Like that. And that kind of makes that little bump there. And then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And then we'll chain two. And work two double crochets into that same spot. So one. Two. And again, we'll just skip all this and single crochet over here into the first single crochet. So we're skipping those two doubles and the chain two and single crochet in like that. And then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch. And that's where we'll do our chain two, one, two, and two double crochets back into that same stitch. So there's one and two. Now again we're going to skip these two double crochets and that chain two and we're going to work a single crochet into the next stitch like that and then we're going to single crochet into the next stitch and then we'll work our chain two and two double crochets back into the same stitch. And we're just going to kind of repeat that now and you can see it'll be more visible the more rows you do but these will start to pop out like that and that's kind of why they call it the rocky road because these pop out a little bit so again you just skip these two double crochets and the chain two and single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet into the next one chain two and two double crochets back into that same spot like that skip all this again and single crochet into the next stitch over here by skipping all that it makes it pop out like that and then single crochet into the next and then you work your chain two and your two double crochets back into the same stitch. So you want to do this until you get to, just keep repeating it, until you get to the end of the row. Okay, I've made it to the end here and I did my single crochet, chain two, and the two doubles into that stitch. And now I'm going to skip this, these two doubles and that chain two. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to single crochet right down here. And then single crochet one more time into that last, that last stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and turn. And now it all, is, all it is is just a repeat of that row. So you just single crochet into the very first stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Chain two. And two doubles back into that same stitch. And then skip all this the two doubles in the chain and single crochet into the next and then single crochet into the next and chain two and two doubles so now we're just it's just a repeat of that row that we just did and you just want to keep repeating that last row until you get your piece as big as you want it to be so it's just that row back and forth back and forth Okay, once you get your 32 rows done, and we count the rows like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So each one of these little bumps that are sticking out, that's how I count the row. 
So you want to do 32, and you can always do more if you want. And then when you get to the end of that, you just want to tie off like that. Now what you want to do is lay your piece out in front of you. And we're going to fold it. This is how it's going to be. Fold it up, and then it's going to have a flap. And when you lay it out like this, you want to make sure this curvy area is the flap. Right here, that's like the beginning where we started. That's going to go on the inside of the bag. So when you flap it over, the curves of the stitches are going to be the flap. But first we're going to go around it with a row of single crochet. So if you got it <clears throat> folded like this, and you know it don't have to be exact right now, flip where your flap's going to be up. And we'll start right here in this corner and we'll start working this way. We're going to work around the whole piece. So I'm going to start right here, the very first stitch, and I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to work three single crochets in this very first stitch, just because it's the corner, and it'll make it nice and round there. And now I'm going to go down working one single crochet in every stitch and you kind of might not be able to see where they go real well it's just kind of at the end of the row here like right through that and then this next spot right here just kind of evenly space them out but you should be able to tell like right here the end of this row end of this row right there into that row and that's where you want to do just one single crochet all the way down just like that and that's going to clean up the edges really nice now I'm going to work all the way down this side and I'll meet you over here at this corner and I'll show you what we're going to do from there okay I've made it down here to the corner now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put three single crochets into the last corner stitch up here. So there's one, two, three. Now what we're going to do, this is the flat part remember where the curved, ed curved edges are. We're going to find the center of it. So go ahead and flip it over. And if you count in these bumpy rows here. You can see the bumps, bumpy rows that are sticking out. Counting the bumpy rows, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you should have ten of the bumpy rows sticking out if you followed me. So go in five on this side and five on this side and you can see the one row in between those bumpy rows is the center. So if you want to mark that with something, a uh, piece of yarn or something, you can. Because we're going to put like a little loop to uh, grab onto a button. So you can just stick a piece of yarn right here in between these two uh, center rows here. Let me find a piece here so I can show you. Usually I got them laying all over the ground. And for some reason, I think somebody vacuumed. It sucked them all up. Okay. I found one little straggler piece of yarn laying around here. So, just stick that in here. Like that. And that way we know where the center is at. Now we're going to keep working over putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get over there to where that stitch marker is. So you should be able to see the stitches pretty well now. There's one and then you get right here to this chain two space. Just put two single crochets into that chain two space. And then the next stitch, put a single crochet. And the next stitch, single crochet single crochet in every stitch until you get to the next chain two space right there 
go ahead and put two single crochets in it and you start again one single crochet in every stitch here kind of got to look for them here until you get to the next chain two space which is right here one two and then we start again and we're just going to keep doing this until we get to our first stitch marker or get to the stitch marker the first one the only stitch marker and then we'll just make a simple little chain to hook a button that a hook button can hook to now if you don't want to do that you can make a strap you know if you want to hook a button to or you don't even have to put anything on it at all you could use some type of brooch to pin it together or velcro or whatever you want it's your bag there's nothing you're going to do to make it look bad so you don't have to worry about that okay i'm coming up here to my center spot and like again like i said again you can kind of step back and eyeball it too to make sure you get the center correct but once you get to that spot go ahead and single crochet into the spot that's your center and you can move that stitch marker out now i'm just going to do a simple chain depending on how big of a button you have if you have one bigger or smaller than mine I'm going to do a chain of 10. I think that's probably big enough for my button. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to single crochet into the same spot again. And there we have a little loop for our button. And now I'm going to continue, crossed, put two single crochets into the chain two space, and then one single crochet in every stitch. I'm doing this all the way across the front here. And we want to keep doing that until we get over here to the corner and I'll meet you right there. Okay, when you make it to the next corner, you just want to put three single crochets into that corner spot. And then we're going to work down the side again. Working one single crochet again in every stitch. Just kind of like we did on the other side. All the way down the long side here. So just like that. So all the way down the side and I'll meet you over here at the next corner. Okay, I've made it to my other corner here and again we're just going to work three single crochets in the corner. And now we're working along the bottom or it's actually the very first row that we started with and we're just going to put single crochets across so you can see there's uh, where we skipped the chains. So we'll go ahead and put two single crochets into that spot. Like that. And then one into this next stitch. And then one into the next stitch. And then there'll be two right here into this chain space. One. Two one into the next stitch one into the next stitch and then two into this chain space here and we're just going to continue that pattern until we get to the end and when we get to the end it'll actually be back at the beginning where we started this single crochets so I'm going to keep going across and I'll meet you when I get back over there. Ok, 
Okay, when you make it to the end, and back to where you started, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet that you did. And remember we did three single crochet in our very first stitch? You want to slip stitch into the very first single crochet. Not the chain one that we did, but the very first single crochet. And then we can tie this off. If you want to hide that tail, you can. But what I'm going to do now is we're going to sew the sides together. So with the right side of those single crochets facing you, where we just ended up, should be facing right side up, what we're going to do is we're going to sew it like this, but we're going to sew it wrong side out. So the seam's not quite so noticeable. So take, take the you got the right side facing you, take it where the wrong, when you fold it up, it's the wrong side. And you'll be able to tell by looking. Because these stitches, these single crochets that we just did, they're going to be looking funny because it's the wrong side of them. Now you want to fold it up to where you have six uh, rows. This, this be our first one. One. This loop right here being our first one. One. And then two. And then three and then four, and then five, and then six. So you wanna sew it up underneath that sixth row of loops. It's actually, I'm gonna move the camera so the yellow is this hard to see. Right here, it's one, two, three, four, it's actually five of the bumpy rows, and then this curvy row up here will make six. And you wanna just uh, edge your this row right across that and that is going to be our flap but remember we're, we're sewing it together wrong side out and you can use um we can sew it together with a yarn needle that's what i'm going to use and if you don't if you're not comfortable using a yarn needle you can use uh, your crochet hook and you can slip stitch it together but like I said, I'm just going to use the same color yarn and a yarn needle. And I'm just going to go along. You can start on either side. And I want to make sure that it's lined up at the correct spot. Count your rows again. This would be my, my one, and then two, three, four, five, six. And right underneath that row, I'm just going to start crocheting it together or not crocheting it sewing it together I'm probably confusing everybody and I'm just going to go back and forth like this I'm going through both loops of each stitch so going through this stitch both loops of this stitch and then both loops of the next stitch and sewing it up and I'm going to do both sides the same way. And that way when we flip our work inside out, this seam is going to be on the inside of your work. And it won't be quite so noticeable. So I'm gonna oh, drop my my needle. I'm gonna keep working, and I'm gonna get this side sewed up all the way down to the bottom, and then I'll weave it in and tie it off. And then I'm gonna make sure I'm on the same line over here, and then I'll work my way down here and sew up this side. Okay, once you got it, the side sewed up. You want to go ahead and flip it right side out, and we can check and see the seam, how it turned out. Hopefully it turned out okay. Yeah, that's a nice seam. I'm pretty particular about my seams. I'm going to push out on a little bit. Yeah, I think the seam turned out really good on both sides. It looks nice. Like that. Now, I got some more tails to hide still, but... And I'm going to uh, sew on my button, so you just kind of flap it over if you're using the button. 
and just kind of sew it on to where this is kind of hooked to it using a regular thread and needle or you can use yarn and then my handle I have which I showed in the beginning it's just one I got off an old bag so I'm going to attach that to the sides and remember you can make your own handle you can make a uh, criss crochet a long one would look really nice on here I think um, two long ones one short one whatever you want to do it's your bag however you decide to do it if you want to purchase handles a good place to get them is at resale shops garage sales goodwill just find old bags and repurpose the handles or they do sell them on um, Amazon and eBay too so I'm gonna go ahead and get my button sewed on and my handle put on okay that's it I got my bag done I got my button on and my handle I just flaps to the sides but you can make like I said any kind of handle you want and that's all there is to it pretty easy um, I hope you were enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you're able to follow along okay please don't forget to I'll like and subscribe to my channel and check me out on Facebook and don't forget to check out all my other tutor tutorials. I have hundreds of them. Hopefully you can find something else you like and until next time, have a good day.